we got to know more and understood more of the, of the man behind the genius. Uh huh. Um, a lot to respect. Dark Child out here now. He's got to set this up, man. Uh, Balrog versus Urien can be very, very difficult because Urien has some very long pokes, but they are slow. So if Dark Child finds his space in between and those ranges, um, he's going to be able to make this a very difficult match for uh, Chris, who, as you can see, is already being backed way deep into the corner. Right, as we saw Dark Child versus Banana Gen, you know, his, his anti airs were on point, so I'd like to see that translate into this match against Trinity as well. Right now, he is absolutely running this. Not nah, as happy as they can see. Yurian, throw a pressure, just setting something up here for future uh, rounds. Yeah. In, a, in, a, in a first and three set, you definitely have an opportunity to spend a couple of rounds really just running the exact same thing. Right. Because uh, if it works, you get to develop the sequence from there. And of course, as you mentioned, you set up a layer. Yep. They try to counter that, they can run into something even worse. The way they're playing right now is going to be completely different uh, You know, in, in the next game. This is just really just for data, figuring out just gameplay style, figuring out ways how they can implement their style into the, into the game. No whiff punish there. As you can see right now, Chris is definitely just, he, he, he really doesn't want to be in close quarters with Balrog, which nobody really does, of course. But he's also not doing a tremendous job of defending the space like he did against Romance. And part of that is Urian's character. But as you can see, just getting caught out here. He's very Dang. afraid of the buttons here from Balrog. I mean, as you should. Balrog does have very strong buttons. Good check. Dark Child is showing a lot of character awareness. Correctly checking the EX shoulder tackles after uh, on block. You saw there he uh, jabbed Chris out of the second Aegis because it doesn't have a flash to make it faster. Building a little bit of meter here. Chris, he just letting him. Tackle. Ooh, but there was a gap right there. That is a... Uh, oh. Nice. That's a big, you gotta be a big fella to tackle the uh, ball right. That's right? super heavyweight. Man, it's almost 300 pounds. That is incredible there. And you saw, uh, I did see something though, Dark Child, uh, that, that uh, towards uh, Strong, that punch that kind of goes through you on Wake Up, it's actually zero on block. So if you're a character with a three frame normal, that's such as Ball Rock, if you block that on Wake Up, that's your turn. So if you're tries to press a button, his fast normal will get counter hit. Yeah, we do know that this game is all about turns. Um, with the input, you know, uh, leniency and, and whatnot, it allows for uh, frames to be accounted for much, much easier. And speaking of turns, this is turnabout mode. Pain train heading all the way downhill. Oh my. Okay. Going low up. every time. Chris holding the down back, but the gray light did build up slowly. Just throws through it. He's getting the throw and avoiding the Aegis reflector. Ooh, wow. Taking game one with an unexpected EX dash punch. <laughs> and a delayed stage interaction. I don't think I've ever seen that much space carried before they hit the banana stand. But Dark Child, as you saw right there, this is what and this is what put him in winners finals. Like I feel like if you've been watching and if you saw the beginning of top eight, you know that this is not really that much of a surprise. Right. And me personally knowing him, uh, he made top eight at NEC in 2015 uh, in Street Fighter 4. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Barwag I'd imagine, correct? Yeah, yeah. So this is this is not really uh, outside of the norm. It's honestly what you really hope to see out of Street Fighter 5, new right. seasons and, and, and new things is players that you hadn't heard about before who are experienced and well versed. Putting up great fights against marquee names. Experience can mean everything. Uh, it, it really can. Nice. Going low again. Wow. Dark Shot is absolutely. He is just feeling so loose right now. So comfortable. Don't lock it down. The throws get the check into the B trigger. Very, it's very rare seeing this happening, being able to open Chris G up like this. And uh, that's that's exactly what Working Dark Child's been able to do. You see the way that managed us. There's no way. Yes. That, 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 was a, that, was a, that was a harsh transition for Urian. Although he definitely fits the uh, Carnival theme right now. No. It's off the space. Dark Child is, uh, he doesn't want to end a lot of combos with knockdowns, it seems nice. like. Finally, finally punishing the dash punch there. Challenging Urine at the EX shoulder. And after he challenged with a three frame normal, he put Chris on notice that I, he, that I do know how to check with three frame. Right. Which lets him do a little bit of a slower normal that has a longer reach because he's expecting Chris to walk back. Great reaction there to confirm the crowd strong. Where are you going, sir? Good slow. Dashing on the top out of the corner, creating space. And again. Oh. Just missed it. And Chris with a great check. Nice challenge, yes. Oh my god. Wow, this is the activity that we talked about with Chris G. Chris does not want to lose this round. That puts Star Child in a very, very favorable, favorable position in this set. There's a the 
checks after Rose Fishy. He's doing a great job for this round. All right. Let's see if Chris G can ride this momentum into the next round. He understood that um, Rush Punch not safe, minus four. Yep. Now this has completely changed the match, the way Chris G is able to punish this now. We did there just see the, the challenge out of Dark Child. Um, so I wonder if he, he of course, he do when he's just letting it rock for those first couple rounds, see how far he could get without having to do so. He's not reacting to those V skills also. That's true. Our pointing out to us. Has to know when he sees the ball rock on the matchup exactly how to take him down. <laughs> okay, we might have something here. Crush counter get footsies. the stun. No. I think you should have spent the meter for EX and stun. Right. Don't give him a chance like that. <laughs> Absolutely. That's very true. Now, um, it looks like Chris G's been able to kind of have, uh, adapt to quite a bit of things that Dark child has been throwing at him. You know, he's uh, found, found an answer for the dash punches, and he's discovering new ways to kind of open up Dark Child. As before, Dark Child's defense and offense was really, really kind of uh, outshining Chris G. But again, you know, with this being only the second game, still plenty of time to download each other. Yep. And it looks like Chris is going to, maybe, I think he, must, he might want his headphones. But I actually noticed when it was over here that he didn't have him, so I think he... Oh, he's yeah, coming he's, coming, he's coming over the stream station. Oh, yeah, water. He, he, oh, water. Coming uh, over to the no, cockpit. Right Just getting some water, guys. Getting his water. I feel you, man. Definitely. <laughs> right. He could be very, very lonely and parsed up on that stage. That's one of those things. When you are on that stage, and a lot of people will get very, very blinded to the light. Obviously, Art knows well what it's like to play on a big name stage, but very well. So uh, whenever I sit on that stage, I, I always think, what, "What's the most comfortable for the players?" Exactly, exactly. Then that's something that, as a player up there, you know, within reason, you yeah. have to fight for. But if it's water, or if it's just a, a minute to breathe between a game, fight. yeah. In order for the, um, in order for the stream to become legit, you know, have a legit tournament, like unfortunately, the stuff comes secondary to the players. Players aren't comfortable, it's not good for anybody. Yep. Uncomfortable players typically don't play well. No matter how good the production value is, nobody wants to exactly. watch up our play. Mm -hmm. So thankfully, it looks like Dark Trout rising back to meet that challenge that Chris G laid out. And obviously, you know, with that extended break, had a bit of a time to think about what was happening. And now has that perfect space. Yeah. He, he's learned in that last game that, you know, at those unsafe ranges, Chris G was able to punish them. Ooh, and unfortunately gets a throw with. She's gonna take advantage of it. He's gonna wake up with the standing light, light kick target combo. So right there, he tried to counter the towards strong. Oh. Kind of an important drop combo from Chris. That would have been the round. Now he's gonna have to fight it out. Nice. All right, keeping the pressure on the back. Ooh, if only he would have just blocked. Big bets here from both players. They're expending all resources for this. Ooh. That's so dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, playing with fire here. Okay, but he does have to be careful right there, and you saw he waited for it. Knew that Chris was trying to get him comfortable with the V skill so that he could get him with the EX shoulder tackle, and Dark Child has just sat on it. All right, he's gonna ride these fireballs here. Ooh. Oh, this is, ooh. okay, big bets. Great tech from Chris! Very patient play here. Oh! Why did he jump, dude? Can't wow. jump, can't jump. That's all he's waiting for. Yeah. That's literally all he's waiting for. I mean, he, every time he would throw the fireball, he would dash in behind it, we, just we, waiting for the options. How many times in the first two weeks of the game did we have to say, you can't die by chip to normal moves, you can't die by chip to special moves? You know, that's one of those things where you're, they were getting down to a position where it was going to take a hit to win. Oh, speaking of nice hits. Crush gonna punish here. Oh my gosh. Oh, Dove City's greatest hits. Oh my gosh. Big pressure here again. Standing fierce. Wow. Oh, wow, went for the screw smash. A lot of uh, balls should have just done staying strong in that instance, but uh, Dark Trial was really trying to maximize, and instead it's now corner. Oh, but this is it, Pain. Pain, train. Next stop, Cornerville. But you're in 1,050 health, so you can live. He's like 25, uh, sorry. Yeah, to, to, I'm sorry, like, I was over-exaggerating, but, but still. <laughs> but look at that. He lives, he lives, he lives. <laughs> More than Alex, let's say it like that. Oh, my gosh. Once again, this is the same situation as last round, and Dark Child spins his meter, so Chris can run the exact same offense. But he does have to worry about the spacing. He has one EX. There it is. Can't, doesn't want to trade, doesn't want to trade. Oh, punish? Ooh, wow. Got a counter hit. That means he caught him pressing a button. Oh, punish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's Too definitely close. punishable. Close. So one thing that Dark Child is trying to adapt to, but it's still getting clipped by a lot, is that crouching medium kick. 
um, Balrog and uh, Dudley in Street Fighter 4 were very vulnerable to low attacks. They did not have a lot to catch that. So that is something that is kind of transferred over to Balrog. You know, those characters that can kind of snipe out his legs um, present a great difficulty. And there might not be a better crouch medium kick than Yuri. Uh, plus two on block, incredible range. V trigger cancellation. Not special cancelable, but still, you know, at plus two, do you really want to cancel it in it too much? Right. Now, Chris, an opportunity to move into winner's finals. There's the check. Finally, Dark Child finds that sequence. Feeling good. Crowd's starting to like it. They want to see some ball rock. Still needs one more for the stun. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, Shimmy throw. Gets the crouch light. Oh, no. Dark you, let, you let him play twice. Yep. And here it's not good. This is not good. Okay, be frames. Out. I'm, I forgot. You can't give Chris <laughs> an opportunity right there. Yeah. <laughs> We're a bit of ways away from it. But I trust you, Capcom. You'll get us there. You, you hear us. I believe you. In the meantime, I can hear this audience. They are enjoying this high-level Street Fighter 5 play. And I yeah. hope you at home are enjoying it. Yeah, they want to see those safe crush counters. <laughs> As they want to see. They want to see Kling! <laughs> and then they just get juggled. Hey, and they get want to safe. Let's make a plus. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, see right there. That's that crouch medium kick. Dark Tide is just a bit late on them. Takes his face after that one. Not able to make anything happen. Chase the back dash. Nice block from Chris. Plus three roundhouse. Ooh. Pretty darn good. Party started. Here we go. Reset. No, he's burned it all. I got it. Might be dead. Ooh. No. Okay. He lives. More. This is risky. He better die ages. Uh oh. He better block this mix up. And he's got to block all of this. Oh. That was godlike. That was godlike. That was godlike. That was godlike. Good composure from Chris. Absolutely. Okay. I say though, for Dark Child, I mean, even in that, that third game, you know, he was in both of those rounds. They were absolute last hit rounds. Punish. Now, Chris seeming to find the spacing that Dark Child had with the rush punches earlier on. You see right there, unsafe now, and it's giving away crucial turns. Really, in order to make the dash punch safe, he, he does have to back up to that position where he gives Yuri yeah. space. Okay. Spins the bar here. He's looking for. The, he's looking to get this round right now without B trigger. See right the there. Here. Reversal. Ooh, so hard. Oh no! I am nice, sorry. Nice. See, nice. Balrog does not jump back far enough for that. That is very sad. Chris jumping back for his life. He's in the corner. He has second Aegis. If Dark Child was on the ball, he would have been able to react to that second Aegis. Yeah. The frame data it makes it worse than the first one. On block. Mm. Ooh, he's staying fist three really in a great life. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, it's bad. Yuri and no meter, no action. Tyson. Nice view reversal. He needed that space. In the corner, abusing the ribs. He's one abusing button, that anime. Button. He's abusing the anime mechanics of no chip kills. <laughs> he can do this. Okay. This he can't trade though. That's the problem. He yeah. needs more chip. Oh, if he reacts. Oh! <laughs> Blocks his OD! The side of the ankle! He thought he was going to go with for the overhead. Yeah, very upset. He thought he was going to go for the overhead. Oh my god. Dark Child is definitely, yeah. The salt, the salt is so real. This is not the end for him, though. He's yeah. in losers' finals now. Still has an opportunity. Man. And a, and a well deserved round of applause from the audience for a tremendous set. Dark Child, you know, that's one of those things where you don't feel bad like because you play poorly. That's actually what makes it feel saltier. You know, he's like, oh, I got blown up. I didn't know what I was looking at. Oh, right. I was just like.